Brian, darling, you're here. Your powers of observation are astounding. Why am I here, Vanessa? What a profound question. Why indeed are any of us here? One could say that we are here Knock it off. Of... I have better things to do with my time than to play your little games. My little games have netted me quite a profit lately. Would you care to hear how much? No, I wouldn't. But, Brian, this concerns you. I have decided to make you quite a healthy bequest. Not interested. But you will be when you hear the amount. Of course, I have a few suggestions as to what you should do with the money. Oh, I'm sure you do. All of them having the genuine warmth of a tax shelter. Before you become too cynical, hear me out. Good night, Vanessa. As usual, it's been delightful. They're not here. Not that I care, but what's wrong? My microfiche files on Beverly Randolph and Barbara Gilbert, they're missing. Someone's been in my files. What is it? Lori, I just can't go through with this wedding. I just can't. Why? It's all this. I can't ignore it any longer. All what? Harold just told David and me that we have to be in Washington the day after tomorrow. But your honeymoon? There won't be any honeymoon. Now, I'm not trying to make it sound like this is the issue, because it isn't. This is just the last straw. I should have said something a long time ago. I should have spoken up sooner. You mean about what his campaign is doing to you? No, what it's doing to us. Lori, I've been such a fool. I thought it would get better. How do I tell him? When do I tell him? Now. You tell him now, and you tell him exactly like you just told me. Lori, I don't think I can. Signs. Something has obviously happened between Tina and Vaughn, and it has her very upset. Yes, it has. So do I get to hear about it? Vaughn has accused Gil Prescott of being the father of the child. I love it. Oh, Gil, <laughs> I think that's wonderful. Well, I'm glad you're laughing. <laughs> of course I'm laughing. Oh, well, Vaughn may have won his little victory in court, but he's paying for it now. <laughs> it's not funny, Courtney. I'm very concerned about what the publicity would do to Commonwealth Trans Express. As well you should. I hope you've learned your little lesson from all this. Vaughn Sumner can't be trusted, not in anything. I've been right about him all along. But you were his number one supporter at my expense, I might add. Look, you watch your tongue. Things are not as easy as you think. Yes, they are. Vaughn is arrogant, irresponsible, and immature. Perhaps now you'll learn to trust my instincts in the future. Like with Dan Myers? That's who you're going out with, isn't it? And if it is? Now who's being immature? My instincts about Dan Myers are correct. Yeah, if you label him sleazy, incompetent, and immoral. He's changed. And the sun rises in the west. Because of me. No one is that good, my girl. I am. I merely told Dan what I expected from a relationship, and he came back to me willing to give me everything I had asked for. I have him right where I want him. They're not here. Those are your files? Part of them. <laughs> Why don't you look wherever the rest of them are? You don't understand. They were here. I know they were here. I put them here myself. There was important information on that microfiche. Well, Vanessa, this is your big chance. All of your Domi powers are at your disposal. Use them to play Find the Microfiche. Brian, you're a buffoon. Maybe. But I'd gladly take that over your imitation of Lady Macbeth. What's the matter? Not up to my challenge? Somebody's been rifling through my files, but who? Ah, uh, another opportunity. Let's play reach out and psychically touch someone. Brian, be quiet. Am I disturbing the vibes? Yes, you are, so please leave. 
Things are just getting interesting. I've never seen you like this. It excites me. Stacy Phillips. She's the one who did it. She took the files. Mom, I can't tell you what to do, but I think you should talk to Dave now. People will understand. They will. Will they? Yes. Do you want me to go get him? I think you'd better. Do you want me to come back with him? No. <laughs> I love you. Looks like this is a night for expressing feelings. Feels good, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. And is everything all right with Terry? Well, I think so. Why? Well, basically, Dave, I agree with you, but I think it could be a foolhardy strategy. It's best, in order to keep your opponent off guard, you've got to anticipate what he's going to do next. <laughs> Hi, Laurie. Did you come over here to be bored to death? <laughs> yeah. Harold's waxing poetical about campaigning. Well, not that there's anything poetical to wax about. <laughs> uh, Dave, Mom wants to talk to you. Oh? Yeah, she... Yeah. Well, all right, excuse me. Sure. Oh, Gino. Hey, Joe. Uh, the governor gave you the political beat, huh? Not a bad draw. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm not complaining or anything. Guess you're not too happy about how you got it, though, huh? What do you mean? Well, Stacy got fired. Oh, yeah. Don't you think uh, McGovern was a little rough on her? Uh, yeah, I guess. Well, I mean, her story about uh, Wainwright and the uh, sports medicine wing. We all knew she was telling the truth. It was Wainwright that kind of twisted the facts around with his after the after the fact statement there. Yeah. It just seems a little unfair, doesn't it? Uh, well, don't seem so broke up about it, Redland. Come well, on. I mean, John, don't get me wrong. I mean, I, uh, I was upset about it at, at first, yeah. But not anymore. Well, no, not as much. I mean, Stacy's doing pretty well right now, besides, you know, the whole newspaper thing was really getting to her, the, the whole big routine, you know, and, and she's got herself some freelance assignments, and it makes her load a little easier right now. She really is doing well, really. So does this mean that uh, I'm not going to be reading any more articles about Domi until after the election? Domi? Your investigation. I know you didn't get everything that you wanted, but uh, at least, uh, you know, you threw some suspicion on him, you know? Yeah, yeah. Well, see, what we decided to do is put all of that behind us for a little while That's right wrong, now. That's wrong, Gene. John, if you'll excuse me, there's something I've got to... Gene, do. you should write the thing up. At least what you got. Do the city a favor. Yeah, look, I'll bounce it off McGovern and see what he says about it. I'll talk to you later. But excuse me right now, okay? Ben. Yeah? What Listen, is it? Uh, I might have to take Mom home tonight. Why? Is she... Uh, 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 how bad is it? I might have to spend the night with her. Listen, can you take care of Scotty? Yeah, of course. Okay. Listen, what Harold said? Are you upset because we're going to have to delay the honeymoon a little bit? You don't honestly think I'd react positively to that, do you? I, know, I suppose not, but uh, but it won't all be work, Terry. We'll have a good time. We'll do some sightseeing. We'll have a we'll have a wonderful Dave. time. Dave, Dave, I'm sorry. I can't accept it. I just can't. Dave, I love you. I don't know if you're going to be able to understand this, but I I don't think I realized how much I love you until tonight. That's why I can't get married yet. That's why we have to postpone the wedding. You say that you love me more than you ever have and you're calling off the wedding? Why? Because the timing isn't right. With all we have going for us, we can lose it because of that. Terry, that doesn't make any sense. No one can take from us what we have. I'm not talking about everybody else. I'm talking about us. How? being ready to handle it yet. Look, you're just worried about the effect the pressures the campaign will have on our marriage. Terry, we've been through all that. Yes, Dave, we have been through it. But we went through it when things were very different, when things were much more under control. Well, things just seem a little more hectic now. Because no, they're... Dave, things are worse now, and they're only going to get more complicated. Don't you think that maybe you're just getting a little bit panicky because there's, because there's so much to think about before the wedding tomorrow? No. I'm not sure I agree. My feelings are very valid, Dave. You can't stand there and tell me they aren't. 
Well, that's not my intention. Well, that's the way it sounded. No. No, I am. I would draw the same conclusions if I were in your position. Hysterical woman gives in to her fears the night before her wedding. The truth is, Dave, I should have said something to you days ago. I should have come straight to you when I first started having these feelings and these thoughts. When I own brought the itinerary over to my house that day, I should have come right to you. That was wrong. I shouldn't have had her do that. You have every right to be angry. Dave, I'm not angry. I'm scared. You're not willing to believe that well, together we can overcome those fears? Of course I'm willing. But Dave, I can no longer ignore the feeling that it's God's will to not go through with this marriage just yet. Are you going to tell me you haven't felt the same way? Could you have gone through with that ceremony tomorrow without any reservations? But it doesn't matter that much now, does it? I mean, you've already made up your mind. I want this to be our decision. Dave, I love you. Me too. Please, please don't be angry with me. Just say that you understand. Oh, hi. Hello. Hey, there's a cat where I live that's just always hungry, so I thought I'd bring something back for him. Well, where is it that you do live? Uh, it's a residential hotel. Oh, where? Yeah, well, you wouldn't know. That's a gorgeous dress. Oh, thank you. Well, hasn't the rehearsal dinner been just lovely? <laughs> yeah. Weddings are so romantic. Of course, a couple of mine have been sort of like unrefereed football games. But that's what happens when your husband's family doesn't have any class. How many times is it now? What? That you've been married. Oh, three. But that's all in the past now. I've dealt with it, and it's all tucked away in the second level of my memory consciousness. But that's Domi talk. Do you know anything about Domi? A little. You should try it. You know, it would really benefit someone with your background. I beg your pardon? Well, you know, it would help you forget, you know, trying to kill your mother and all that stuff. You'll excuse me. Oh, um, no, look it. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to offend you or anything. If I'm blunt, it's just because Domi has taught me to confront reality. Oh, it has? Well, yes, and it, it, it's just helped me to break through all of that stuff. And I, really, all I was, was going to do was just invite you to a free introductory Domi lesson. It's great. You, you'd love it. Well, for your information, I've already attended a couple of Domi sessions. No kidding. <laughs> no kidding. Oh, that's great. And you know, it just gets better and better. I mean, I have improved a hundredfold since I started out in Domi, and it's all because of Domi. Can I say your thoughts? Oh, really... oh, don't get up. Please sit down. I just wanted this opportunity to come over here and sit down and slip my shoes off. <laughs> Are you enjoying yourself? Oh, very much. Very mm -hmm. much. There's an awful lot of love around here. Oh, that there is. Lots of love. Some very dear folks here, and I feel honored to call them my friends. Yeah. And Terry and Dave, where they're acting as if getting married was the easiest thing in the world. I mean, they don't even seem worried. Oh, I wouldn't say that. Well, it doesn't seem that way to me. Well, what you're probably witnessing is their trust in the God, in God. You know, uh, as much in love as they are, they realize that there's some tough times ahead, but they know as long as they seek to do God's will, they come out on top. Excuse me, everyone. Excuse me. There's something I'd like to say to you. Oh, Courtney, don't be stupid. Dan Myers is not going to change because of you. Why? Because I'm not special enough? To may come as a shock to you, but I think I am. And this may come as a shock to you, but all those promises he made you, he's got them printed on a three-by-five card, passes them out to every woman he's ever had. I can't win with you, can I? At various times, you are angry at me because I'm going out with Vaughn. I'm not going out with Vaughn. I'm going out with other men or I'm not going out with other men. I'm either incredibly naive or incredibly loose, depending on whichever viewpoint you choose to take at any given moment. Oh, hogwash. And do you know what that kind of attitude does? It makes you inaccessible, Dad. I know I can never talk to you. I've wanted to hundreds of times. But like now, w with Dan Myers, I just wish that I, I could bring everything out and lay it out rationally and discuss it. But you don't let me. 
All right. Let's talk. It's too late. All right. Too late. I'm going out with Dan Myers tonight. And I will make my decision about Dan Myers tonight. One way or the other. I'm really impressed, Vanessa. I mean, bad vibes and everything, and you managed to come up with your thief. How do you do it? Goodbye, Brian. But I want to know what happens next. You leave. Is this Stacy Phillips any relation to Dave Phillips? She's his daughter, and also, along with Jean Redlin, a reporter at the Chronicle. Although she told me she was fired when she refused to do an expose on me, I... Then she couldn't have done anything. Now, if you would please excuse me. Gladly. You know, I had an invitation to a party tonight that Stacy Phillips will be at. It's uh, probably not too late to swing by. Yeah, I think I will, and I'll do you a favor. I'll ask her if she's seen whatever it is you're looking for. Shall I do that for you, Vanessa? Stay out of this, Brian. But it might be fun. You're essentially innocent of a lot of things that I could make you look very guilty of. Would you like me to do that, Brian, darling? No. I didn't think so. I'd suggest you leave this alone, including Stacy Phillips. Good night, Brian. This has been quite an evening. I don't know when I've been more touched by people expressing their feelings. And not just any people, but the people I care most about. Well, in the spirit of what I hope has been honesty, it has. <laughs> yes, I'm sure it has. Well, in that same spirit, uh, Terry and I have an announcement to make. There isn't going to be a wedding tomorrow. I'd like to be able to tell you when the wedding will take place, and it will take place eventually, but we just haven't had time to discuss it yet. Uh, most likely sometimes after the, uh, after the election. I think uh, you also deserve to know why we made this decision, and it has been a mutual decision. We feel that starting a marriage under less than perfect circumstances would be a mistake. Something as important as this, well, requires the, that each one of us give 100%, and that just isn't possible right now. We apologize for any inconvenience that uh, this may have caused you. Well, thank you all. Well, I for one couldn't be happier. Well, I hated the dress I was going to wear tomorrow. <laughs> oh. Now I've got two more months to find another one. <laughs> hey, if this is a ploy to get another wedding gift, you can forget about it, Dave Phillips. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. Alex. Oh, Nancy. Uh, Tell me, do you think that Dave was telling the truth? Well, you don't know Dave very well if you think he wasn't. Well, we have a saying in Domi, truth is only truth as long as you perceive it as such. Nancy, we uh, tend to see the things we want to see. Exactly. Tell me, Alex, do you know anything about Domi? I guess this is a good example of what you were talking about. Doing God's will, that's all that matters. It's painful, isn't it? Oh, no, what you have to remember is the good Lord never puts more of a burden on us than we can handle. Terry and Dave are going to be just fine. Sure you're going to be okay? Yeah, sure. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take my But? I think it'd be best. All right. Call me? If not tonight, tomorrow. I love you. Good night. So, what do I do about all these? Do I open them up or do I send them back? You're still getting married, right? Mom. Oh, Lori. He was so angry. He said he wasn't. 
And even so that he agreed with my decision, but even so... Hey, is it really a question of how angry he is right now? Isn't it a question of what he feels for you deep inside? Now, you have no doubts about that, do you? No, I wouldn't if... Oh, Lori, he had every right to know about this before tonight. I mean, I, I wouldn't blame him if he decided not to feel the same way about me. Well, I'm going to have to make a lot of phone calls, and I want people showing up tomorrow. Hey, I'll make the phone calls. You go to bed. And <laughs> do what? Stare at the ceiling? Mom, I think you're probably much more tired than you even realize. What I'm tired of is people telling me how I'm feeling. need to apologize. Listen, I'll stay here all night if you like, huh? No, no, no. I'll be fine. Besides, I think that Dave may call. I'm hoping that... <laughs> I don't know what I'm hoping. That was the right thing to do, wasn't it? Yes. 